Hello everyone, how are you? And I was streaming on Facebook and streaming on YouTube at the same time. Glad to have everyone here. Thank you for coming in. Good afternoon, April. Glad to have you here, April and May. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Thank you so much for coming in. Mega love to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Please stay out, it'll be good. Please stay out, that'll be wonderful. Thank you so much. So we are right now on Facebook, and at the same time on YouTube. For those of you joining us on Facebook, thank you so much. Now, if you're on Facebook and you're joining us, and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please, why don't you do that? No? Well, we will really have that. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mini, glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Yeah, let me share out. Share to a group. Uh, YouTube had to go. Please share out. If you have anybody you want to share out to, that would be really appreciated, you know. I will appreciate that. Um, thank you so much for coming here. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Thank you so much. You know. I'm dealing with a very important topic you know, in preparation for the year 2021. That's what I'm going to be dealing with today. Thank you so much for coming in. Let me share to my group. Come on, come on, come on, come on, people. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh. Yeah. Mega love, all. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate all of you. So much for coming in. Thank you so much for coming in. Glad to have you here. How to stop chasing two rabbits in 2021. No? Thank you so much for all joining us here. Glad to have you here. No? Christine, glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Wonderful. I'm trying to share myself out now. How was your day? And how are you getting on? It's been good, you know. So I'm going to be talking about how to stop chasing two rabbits in 2021. Because what is happening that people are just rushing around everywhere, you know trying to be everything at the same time. But all I tell people is this, what are you really aiming at? What are you aiming at? What do you want to achieve in this year 2021? And how are you going to achieve it? If you go after two rabbits at the same time, you might miss out on both of them. So that's the essence of this. You know? What's the plan? What are your goals? What are the things you want to do for the year 2021? You know? How are you going to get there? 
Abel I T V. Good evening, Coach. Thank you so much for coming here. Glad to have you here. I hope you're just. I hope you stay to the end. You know, let's get to know ourselves. You know. Okay, let's get to know ourselves and get to know how we can be friends. You know, you see, you can do more by doing less. You can do more by doing less. You know, that's what. Um, um, James Leith said, he said, you can do more by doing less. You know? So there's no need for you doing so much. And at the end, you find that you've got so much that you want to do. So you can do more by doing less. See, the reason why most people are having issues is that they find that they put their hand in so much that they want to do. You know? And they just can't meet up. They just keep trying to get there, you know. So how are you going to walk around this to make sure that you don't pursue two rabbits at the same time in this year? How are you going to walk around it? How are you going to get to that point where you know that, you know what, I can do more by doing less, you know? The first thing you have to do is what? Begin by delegating. I'm going to write this here. Begin by delegating by delegating, simplifying. Now, I'm going to explain this. You know, I'll, I'll write it out first. Simplifying or eliminating low priority. So, begin simplifying or eliminating low priority as soon as possible. as possible. What's happening is this. Focus so much on low priority. You're going to be doing so more. You're going to be doing so much instead of just doing less. So begin by delegating, simplifying, or eliminating. Okay, watch me here in the Philippines. Thank you so much, Able to Able ITV. I hope you're able to get something from this session that not just coming in hitting the thumbs up button and then disappearing. The reason why I hold this, um, this meeting every, every Sunday or the reason why I try as much as possible to have a live stream, it's not just because to bring people together. We can bring people together, we can become friends with people. But one of the reasons why I hold this live stream is because I want to create an avenue where people can use what I'm teaching them, what I'm showing them in their own life. There's no need for you coming in for this meeting or coming in for this uh, session and then leaving without really getting something. Because the thing about it is this. Albert Einstein said something. He said, if you keep doing the same thing, you keep getting the same result, which to me is absolute foolishness. You know, because the best way for you to do it is that find a way to do something good. Find a way to do something valuable. You know? Find a way to do it. So how can you prevent yourself from chasing two rabbits at the same time? People are doing it every day without really knowing how they are doing it and what's going on. So let's see. If Back, welcome back, welcome back. Glad to have you here again. Thank you so much. This is OG TV coach here. If this is the first time you're coming here, I will say please try and subscribe or hit the notification button so that whenever I come in, we are always there. Cheesy one decade, so glad to have you here again. Happy Sunday to you. Thank you so much. Family Asper, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. you know, I TV is watching from the Philippines and Fisher King is watching from the UK. Thank you so much for being here. Cheesy, always glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for all your, your bringing in. But I'm focusing on how to stop chasing two rabbits in this year, 2021. Because there's so much happening right now. And people are doing so much just to get to, or get to the end of 
a year. But what's unknown to them, what you're really focused in on now might even spill over to next year. But how are you going to do it? You know, you can do more by doing less. Give yourself a target. I think this week, family has studied a video on um, goal setting. Give yourself a target. You know, Marima Sagiro is here. Thank you so much, Marima. Hello, sir, and everyone here. Glad to have you here. She's one of my members. So wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in here. She's just wonderful. You, know? so you can do more by doing less. How are you going to do that? How are you going to be able to achieve so much more? You know? Now, no, one of the first things I said here is this. Begin by delegating, simplifying, or eliminating low priorities as soon as possible. Why did I put the word as soon as possible? Because it's getting to the end of the year. Today's the 6th of December. So we've just got like 25 days more before the end of the year. So begin to delegate, simplify, or eliminate low priorities as soon as possible. You know, and one of the things that leaders do is this. Leaders will tell you, you know what, I can't delegate everything to people because I, I don't know if they're going to do what I want them to do. Listen, the only way that someone can learn is to make mistakes. And when they make mistakes, they rectify the mistake, you correct them, and then they move on. That's the only way that you can learn. You know, I've got people that I train every time, and sometimes when I take them on the practical lectures that they go for, some of them make blunders. You'll be surprised. You say, but I taught you this in class. But they make blunders. But I began to understand something. I don't make blunders because it's now something that I've been doing. But in my first six months, even a year, I was making a lot of blunders. So begin by delegating. Look for things that you need to give out to people. Outsourcing. Outsource the things that you need to do. Think about it. There are things that, you know, that you need to give out. Delegate it to people. Then simplify the things. Have a system in place. Have a system in place. What exactly are you going to do? Is it editing of your video? Have a system in place. You know? Is it your thumbnail? Have a system in place. Is it your soundtrack? Have a system in place. Is it the editing? Have a system in place. Because the reason is because if you focus so much on those things, what time are you going to have to start thinking of what you're going to create? Now, if you are not able to pay someone to do it, but you can still have a system in place, you know, then you, you try as much as possible to eliminate low priorities as soon as possible. I've spoken to so many people that have done training in different continents of the world. I've done training in different countries of the world. I've, I've gone around most countries of the world. And one thing I know is this. People who are so much involved in low priorities become sick after some time. You find out, man, something happened to them, the business can continue. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. Stop chasing two rabbits at the same time. Because why? You're the boss. Stop chasing two rabbits at the same time. Find a way to delegate, simplify, or eliminate low priorities as soon as possible. It will help you. You know? It will help you. You see, there are too many people in too many cars, in too much of a hurry, going to too many, going to too many directions. Let me put it again. There are too many people in too many cars, in too much of a hurry, going to too many directions. So everybody's rushing towards the direction. It's just like when you get into a traffic jam. And then you think, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a shortcut cut to get to where I'm going. But everybody's thinking of the same thing. And then everybody's rushing towards that place. You know, Paul, you know, Apostle Paul says something in the book of Mark. Very amazing. You know, sorry, in one of his books, not the book of Mark. He says something, he said, this one thing I do, I press towards the mark. He said, this one thing I do, I press towards the mark. Which mark? The mark of the high calling. He said, but this is one thing I do. So if you think about it, what is it that you're doing that is taking so much of your time? You can just write it there and say, okay, there, this is what I'm doing that is taking so much of my time. You know? What is it? What's that low thing? It's a low priority that's taking so much of your time. You know, sometimes, you know, you might think that, okay, because I'm involved in what I'm doing, it keeps me busy. That's not the life. You know? Just as Paul said, said, this one thing, just one thing that I do, I press towards the mark. So he's always working towards just one goal, achieving that goal, achieving his vision. Now, if you're wondering, 
how are you going to set your goal? There was a, a, a live stream I did about three, four weeks back on how you can use the wheel of life to set your goal. You see, so my name is OG, Stevie Coach here. The reason why I do this uh, live streaming is because I want to be able to communicate to somebody that can use what I'm saying to better their lives. And we are always here every Sunday, 2 p.m. But let's go on, you see. So begin by delegating. So everybody's rushing towards one direction. Everybody wants to achieve something. What is that thing that is your driving force? What is it that you've given all attention to? That you've forgotten about family, you've forgotten about your date, you've forgotten about your food, you've forgotten about your care, you've forgotten about your health, and then you're rushing towards that thing. Imagine if you've been doing that since March. And you, th you were thinking, okay, one day I'm going to stop. One day I'm going to stop. But we're in December now, just 26 days more. And then, uh, sorry, just about, yeah, 25 days more. And then we are done into the year 2021. And there could be a spillover. So Paul said, so he said, this one thing I do, pressing towards the mark, what you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. I want to write down there, what you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. You know? So I'll put it in capital letter. Uh, what you set your heart on will determine yeah. yeah, will determine put it there how you will spend your life. So think about it. What you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. So where are you going? If you chase two rabbits, you will both will escape. Mark Twain, you know, the, the, Mark Twain is the author of Oliver Twist. I don't know how many of you read it. He said, "Behold, the food said, put not all thy eggs in one basket, which is but the manner of saying, scatter your money and your attention." That's what the fool says. Mark Twain said it. I don't know. I don't know what has taken so much. You know, thank you so much, family aspect. I don't know what has taken so much of your time. So much. You might be saying, "Oh, but I'm spending too much time on YouTube." But you are the one that is responsible for your time. Amazingly, both the rich, the poor, the sick, the weak, has got 24 hours. There is nobody that will send you the spend, send or, or that will sell you their own time. So how do you manage it? Stop chasing two rabbits. Sometimes it's fun when you think that you're so busy, but stop chasing two rabbits. Because sometimes, you know, that thought of being busy and doing something, you know, it can be so committing that you might just forget about every other thing that you're involved in. So try as much as possible to focus on just one thing. Look at what Mark Twain said. He said, he said Behold, the fool said, put not all thy eggs in one basket, which is but a man of saying, scatter your money and your attention. But the wise man said something. He said, put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. So put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. You know, family said, as well said, I have set my heart to help family and marriage couple build a happy and successful relationship, build a happy home. That's your goal. That's your goal. But you know the thing about it is this: if you if you if you listen to my broadcast about three or four weeks back when I was teaching on the wheel of life, you see, when I was teaching on the wheel of life, it will look like you know what I don't really understand it. But if you don't know how to use the wheel of life to prioritize your work, you're just going to be boarding up with so many things. There is a time for everything. Even Solomon, the richest man, said it. Oh, Queen Daisy is here. Queen Daisy TV is so glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very lovely lady. You need to go to her channel. Visit her channel and see how our channel is so lovely, so soft-spoken. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you here. You know, Queen, King Solomon says something. He said, there is a time for everything. That's one of the richest men that ever lived with so much wisdom. He wrote the book of Proverbs, even to the songs of Solomon. So the guy was wise. That guy is a professor, professor. If there's anything like that, GSE, GD, whatever they want to give to them, that's it. He's got everything. But one thing you need to know, he said, there is a time for everything. 
You can't chase two rabbits at the same time. If you do, you will lose both of them. If Mark Twain says, look at what Mark Twain said. He said, behold the fool said, put all our eggs in one basket, which is but the manner of saying, scatter your money and your attention. But the wise man said, put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. A guy came to me during the week and said, you know what? He invested into an, uh, a, a stock uh, in UK and he made so much money. He was surprised because the, the time that he put the money in was so short, but the profit that he made was so much. So he now said, what should I do? And I asked him, I said, what was your goal at the beginning when you started this investment? He said his goal was that every shares that he buys, once he makes 10%, he goes out. You know? Yeah. And Kenyo, watching here in the Philippines, thank you so much. And Kenyo, so glad to have you here. Now, now, if you're coming to this channel for the first time and you're not my friend, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And I'm always here 2 p.m. every day. But this month is going to be so much. You know? So he asked me, he said, what do I do, OG? I've made so much money that I've invested in such a short time. How do I go about it? And I asked him a question. I said, what was your goal at the beginning? Now, you've made over 100% money. Are you going to keep your money there or you're going to take it out and invest again? What's your goal? You see, so if you set your heart on what, you know, what you set your heart on will determine how you spend your life. So you need to have that mindset. What are you setting your heart on? What is it that is your focus? Anybody can be a winner. Anybody can succeed in life. Anybody can be an achiever in life. Anybody can be successful, whatever they lay their hands to do. But the thing is this, what is your drive? What do you set your mind, your heart on? That's why we're here. Because the year 2021 is so close. But at the beginning of March 27th, when the lockdown came into UK, we, we, people were praying for this year to finish. People were saying, man, how are they going to manage? How are they going to cope? But the year is finishing now. And we are now moving into 2021. So what's your target? What's your goal? What has been your what what has occupied you so much this year? I want you to put it there. Just write it. What is it that has occupied you so much this year? You can put it on the on the on the box there. You just say, you know, what has occupied me is hash, you know, just put it there. Maybe hash buying a house, maybe hash getting a, a relationship started, maybe hash growing your YouTube channel, maybe hash making money. But I don't know what has occupied you this year. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. So, losers have tons of variety. You know, champions take pride in just learning to hit the same old boring winner. <laughs> that was what Vic Braden said. You know, he said, losers have tons of variety. They have so many things they are involved in. But champions take pride in just learning to hit the same old boring winner. You know, so what is your target? What's your goal? What's your drive? What has been moving you? What is it that has been driving you? What is it that has been your focus? I'll be right back. Now, welcome back to this channel. If this is the first time you're coming in here, please don't forget to hit the notification button and then don't try as much as possible to share the channel out to your friends. Tell them about what is happening here and what we are doing. My name is CV Coach 216, OG CV Coach 216. My website is www.cvcoach2016.co.uk. If you are ever in UK or you live in the environs of the United Kingdom or anywhere, you can always get in touch with us and I am always at your service. Now, I'm talking about how not to chase two rabbits at the same time? Many people are involved in chasing two rabbits. I don't know about you. So what's happening? So this is how to stop chasing two rabbits in 2021. What exactly are you going to do? How are you going to get there? What are the plans? Now, we've already said it. The first thing you need to do is, number one, ensure that you, know, you can do more by doing less. 
You can do more by doing less. You know, then number two, we said begin by delegating, simplifying, or eliminating low priorities as soon as possible. Begin by delegating it, simplifying, or eliminating low priorities as soon as possible. Then the next thing we said is this. What you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. What you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. How many books do you read in a week? How many books do you read in a week? I heard, you know, Warren Buffett and, you know, uh, 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 Bill Gates, some of them read close to like maybe five or six books a month or even more. But how many books do you read in a week? So what are your plans for the year 2021? That's what I'm talking about here. What are your plans? How are you going to get there? What's your focus? Think about it. You know, I just did a video, you know, I, I, coming out soon, you, you, you get it, you know. Where a guy was talking about three things he wished he had knew before he got to this stage. So what you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. What's the focus? Where are you going? What do you want to do? How are you going to get to where you want to get to? Those are the things I want you to begin to think about. Begin to walk around there. Because, you see, the thing about it is this. You've got so much that you want to do. You're so capable of everything. You're good in everything. You're a master of all. But the thing is this. How much time are you putting into all these things that you're doing? How much time are you spending in what you want to do? That's the reason why we're here today. And that's the reason why, you know, I want us to go through this. So that you know quite well that, you know what, this is where I want to do. This is where I'm going. This is I'm going to get to where I want to get to. So what you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. Losers have tons of variety. They have tons of things to do. You know, George Robinson said something after winning the Indianapolis 500. He said, all I had to do was to keep turning left. That was it. He said, I had to keep turning left. I had to keep turning left. In other words, he was just determined. He just said, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm determined, you know what, I, I said I'm determined to make sure that I reach out to people who are depressed, people who are giving up. That you shouldn't give up and don't give in. Be determined that you're going to be the best of you. Be determined that no matter what, because you're the only one in this world who's got the same character, the same attribute as no other person. No other one has got the attribute. Nobody looks like you. Nobody has the same people like you. No one. No one has the same fingerprints like you. So why don't you be determined to be the best of you? This is OG CV coach here. I'm so glad to be in your screen, you know. But this is it. Be determined to be the best of you. You know? What well, this thing, everybody's watching it now, Mickey Mouse, was successful. The key to his success is found in his confession. He says something, he said, I love Mickey Mouse more than any woman I have ever known. <laughs> That's his focus. You know, that was the, what Disney said. He said, I love Mickey Mouse more than any woman that I've ever known. But you might be thinking, come on, why would he say such a thing? Is he not married? But he already said it. His focus is on Mickey Mouse. Now, his past gone, he's gone to glory, or gone to be with the Lord. But we are still watching Mickey Mouse. Every generation that comes, still watch for Disney. And most and the children, they always watch Mickey Mouse. That was what, what Disney said. His focus. His focus. So what's your focus? How many rabbits are you going to chase? What are you really aiming at? What are you really aiming at? A young guy came to me and said, you know what? I have so many things I'm doing. I can play football. I can rap. I can sing. You know? I'm good in school. What should I do? Do I go into music or do I go into football or do I stay in school? <laughs> and I laughed and I said, wow. So you can play football? Yes. Are you good in music? Very well. What about school? Very well. He's good in school. I said, good. Now let's look at the results. 
since you've been playing football, how much have you been paid? He said, nothing yet. He said, okay, since you've been playing football, how many goals have you been able to score? And he gave me a number. I said, okay, let's work out an average of the matches that you have played compared to your, go your goals that you have scored. It was in, in zero, zero, zero something. I said, okay, with the, with, now you're good in music. So with the football, we've already gone out of that. Now you're good in music. He said, yes. I said, how many albums do you have out? He said, I'm thinking about it. He said, great. Now, how many people do you want to reach with this album? He said, I want to reach the whole world. I said, great. That's wonderful. So through which avenue are you going to reach the whole world? He said, through YouTube, through Instagram. I said, really? Yeah. I said, okay, how many followers do you have on YouTube? He said, well, I'm still building on the channel. I said, then, how many followers do you have on Instagram? He said, a few. A few, you have a number. He gave me the figure. I said, let's divide it by reaching the whole world. How long is it going to take you to reach the whole world? I said, okay, now let's go to your school. We went to the school. I said, let's check out your results. How good are you with these things? He said, I'm very good. How much attention do you pay to what you do in school? He said, I read some hours. I said, what do you think is going to benefit you more? No easy way out. Where do you have your strength? He said, school. I said, why? He said, because I can read. I've learned to read. I've taught myself how to read. I've taught myself how to write. He said, I'm quite sure that through school I will succeed. You know what I'm trying to tell you? You can't chase too many rabbits. You won't catch any. You can't be a footballer and a, sing and a songwriter and then nothing. Why don't you build on one, then diversify into the other side? That's where we're having it today. I don't know how many of you are listening to me right there. You know? But you must have come to a place in your life where you've come across this bridge and you're wondering, how am I going to go through this? How am I going to cope? How will I manage? I've been in a situation where you know, you put your hand in so many things at the same time and you're wondering, how am I going to cope with this? One thing I want to tell you is this. is one step at a time. Take one step at a time. That's what I told the young man. I said, I know you're good in football. You're good in singing, which is wonderful. Those are skills. Those are talents. But the knowledge, the skill, and the experience you got from school is what gave you the ability to be able to write songs and sing songs. And it gave you all gave you the ability to be able to meet up with people. You know? I said, so why don't you just make sure that you put in everything you've got in going to school, and then while you're going to school, you know that you're good. You can start doing other things along the line. This is OG CV Coach here. If you're new to this channel, this is the first time you're coming here, please hit the notification button. Or hit the subscription button. And if you're not friends with Queen Daisy TV, Antonio, Family Aspect with the King, please try and visit their homes and see what they are doing and see how it can benefit you. Now, now my question for you is this. What is that thing that has been taking so much of your time? Why don't you just leave the comment in the bottom right there? What is it that has been taking so much of your time? You know, you've been spending so much time on this particular thing that has been occupying you. What is it? Let us know. I want, to, I want to hear from you. I want to know what it is that you've been doing, spending so much of your time doing, and it's taking so much of your time. I'll be right back. much for coming back here yeah. i hope you'll see where you are what are you really aiming at let's find out what are you really aiming at what's your focus you know some people might say man you know uh, i don't want to tell i don't want to give my dream out you know i i, I listened to a video where the guy, lady said don't pick out your goals uh you see the thing about it is this i don't want to say don't speak out your goals but when you boast about your goals then you're you there's a problem there's no way you're going to 
everything that lies in your heart without coming out from your mouth is dead. I can tell you that. Mark my word for it. Because the power of life and death is in your mouth, not in the heart. Everything that lies in your heart, they've not seen the light of the day. The place of production is in the mouth. As long as you're humble with it. As long as, you know, you are, you look at yourself and you see things and say, you know what, I'm just going to be focused on what I'm doing. You know how many guys are boasting out there. I am this, I am that. Listen, man, you can only go as far as you're boasting. You know, Mary Master Giro, thank you so much for being here. You know, so you, you, you need to focus. What is your focus this year? What are you really aiming at? What are you aiming at? I want to know what you're aiming at. You know, if you can share it with us, you can just type it there. You know, what are you aiming at? You know, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Share it there if you're out there, you know. What are you aiming at? What's your focus? What are you aiming at? You know, or I should put it, what are you really aiming at? You know, what are you really aiming at? So let, let me put it again. What are you really aiming at? Because the thing is that so many people are so focused on so many things. But what are you really aiming at? Let me hear what you're talking about. What, what you, what's your focus? What is that drive? You know, we've got people listening to us on Facebook now. It's just that we can't take comments from Facebook. But I will read out some of, some of their comments as they go through. I'll, I'll, I'll go through some of the... I'll, I'll let you guys know what they are, some people are saying on Facebook here. Glad, 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 glad. Let me see who do we have here. Yeah. Yeah, this person said, my focus is to see how I can get into my education in 2021. That's good. You know, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, what's the focus? What are your plans? How are you going to get there? If you say your focus is to make sure that you get into education or you get into somewhere, how are you going to get there? What's, how are you going to do it? That will be your driving force. That will be what will move you now to say, okay, well, this is what I want to do now. That will be it. But you've got to have a drive. You've got to have a dream. You've got to get something that you're aiming for. That should be the thing that will push you to now say, okay, well, I want to take the first step. I want to take the second step. I want to get into something. So what are you really aiming at? Tell me. Let me know what you're aiming at. So you see, so if you if you if you get so much bodied with so many things at the same time, you could lose. So I want to admonish you today, you know what? Don't chase two rabbits at the same time. Don't get so bodied up with so many things. Take one step at a time. Just as Paul said, he said, I press towards the mark. What you set your heart on will determine how you will spend your life. So try as much as possible. Just like I told that young boy, you know, and I told him, I said, you know what, young guy, you can't be a footballer, you can't be a musician, then you're going to school. Focus on what will move you to the next level. You know? So that's the thing that we are focusing on. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who joined me on this broadcast today. You know, I'm going to be here again on Thursday. So we're going to be discussing another uh, issue in regards to our lives, in regards to things, you know. I want to say thank you to Antonio, Marima, Sagiro, Queen Daisy TV. Now, if you are not friends with these people, go to their house, connect with them, let them be your friends, you know. Uh, Marima, Sagiro, let me see. No, Marima Sagiro, please, if you're not friends with her, get involved with her right now. Get involved with her right now. Let her be your friend. Go on, go on, go on. You know, spread that love right now. 
Let that be your friend. If you're not friend with Antonio, please connect with Antonio right now. Let that be your friend. I'm going to connect right now with Antonio. Thank you so much, Antonio. You're going to get my sub right now coming straight to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Antonio. Antonio. Let me see. Yeah, I've seen you right there. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my God. Beauty is not about look, makeup, or clothes. True beauty comes from being yourself. You're very right, Antonio. You're very, very right. Very, very absolutely right. I'm so glad to be your friend. So glad to be your friend. I am. We're already connected. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's good. That's good. I'm watching your second intro now. Now, if you're not friend with Sagiri, please do. Please become her friend. Here we are. Here we are. Just watching your video. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you there. Thank you very, very much. Now, if you're not friend with Sagiro, please become friend with her. Marima Sagario. Go on, go on. Sagario Marima. Let me go back there. Marima Sagario. Yeah, we're friends there. So if you're not friend with her, quickly, quickly subscribe to her channel. Lovely channel. So much to learn. So much, so much, so much. No, quickly, quickly, quickly. Be her friend. First LS stream. All the daddy mega love. Shout out to you, sir. Good evening, sir. So much. So glad to have you here. I am so glad to have you here. Now, if you're not if you're not friends with all the daddy, please be friends to all the daddy. All the daddy, so glad to have you here. How things going? Very, very fine, host. Very, very fine. Everything is going on well. Please, if you're not friends to Marima Sagiro, please be her friend. That is her channel right there. You know, that's her channel right there. I'm just watching a live stream now. Now, with what's happening, you know, Lolo is taking it up. So many things happening on YouTube, but please. Search organically for the names and then go into their channel, watch their video for at least three minutes and then subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring the bell and leave the notification button. Because I'll be having my premium tomorrow host at 12.30 p.m. UK time, 8.30 p.m. Philippines time. I will be there because I'm working from home now. I think the whole of UK, uh, some parts are still in lockdown. so. We are working from home. So I'll be there. I'll be there all day, daddy. You know? So I'm just leaving a comment for Arima Sagiro now. Please, if you are not a friend, I just watched one of our video. Please, please go ahead. Make sure you ring the notification button and then stay in touch. Now, all day, daddy is here. If you're not friend with all day, daddy, please connect, connect, connect with all day, daddy. Connect with all day, daddy. Connect with all day, daddy. So that you can be friends. Love is in sharing. We can be friends when we work together and we achieve so much. If you're not friends with Antonio, please be friends with her. Right there. Quickly. Right there. Quickly, quickly. Come on, everyone. Come on, everyone. I have the wheel of names here. Somebody here is just going to win another uh, okay, let me see. Can I bring down my premier? Um, try, but I think the nightbot sometimes does not allow people to put in links. But try it. Let's see. While I'm putting up the the wheel of names here. Uh, let me see. All day, daddy. All day. All day, daddy is here. Family aspect is here. Family aspect is here. Other person is here now. Queen Daisy TV. Family aspect. Queen Daisy TV is here. 
in Daisy TV is here. Glad to have you here. That person is here now. Let's see. Um, somebody's gonna win from watch time. Watch our Antonio is here. Antonio is here. Antonio is here. Uh, do we have another person? Did it go through? All the that you want to try, try and drop it. Let's see if it's going to go through. Trisha King is here. And Able ITV is here. Trisha King is here. Uh, Trisha King, let's see. King, we all monetize channel. Carissa World is here. Rizzi's Kitchen is here. Cheesy, I don't know if she's still here. Cheesy, I don't know if you're still here. No. Cheesy. Ondike is here. Yeah, all the daddy, have you dropped it? So all the daddy is having a uh, live stream tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, daddy. If you're not connected with all the daddy, try as much as possible to connect with him. He's having his premium tomorrow. 12.30 UK time. So what are you really aiming at? What's the focus? All the daddy is having his premium tomorrow. Yeah, all the daddy is here. I don't know which other person is here right now. Who is here? Who is here? All the daddy premier is here. Let's see. Let's see if I can share this screen. Decision window. Let me see if it's gonna come up. Yeah, are we there? Can you see the screen? Let's see. Who is gonna win? Who is gonna win? Who is gonna win something tonight? Who won there? Trisha King. Trisha King. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Let's see. Who's gonna win now? Let's spin again. Let's see who's gonna win. It's 50. Watch. Ah, uh, who's that? Let's see who that is. Every star's word. Okay. Spin again. Who is that again? Let's see. Arisa's world again. Wow. That's beautiful. Awesome. Okay. So let's go again. Go just three people here. So let's see how the three of them, three of us can get it before I will close the live stream. See who will go again. 50 watch hours to be won. Who won that? Family aspect. These are my people, they don't need it. I don't know if family aspect is still here. Are you here? If you're here, you just still come here. But if it's not here, no problem. Let's spin again. Who 
who is that? Let's see. Easy, easy. I don't think Easy is still here. There's no need you know, to go for the 50 watch hour. Let's spin again one more time. Last time. Oh, family aspect is still here. Family aspect, you don't need the watch hour now. You got already. <laughs> Who is that now? Let's see. Queen Daisy TV. Is Queen Daisy here? If you're here, just say present here. Oh, Papa. oh okay. Family Aspect. What did you say? <laughs> Night butter stops you. Queen Daisy. If Queen Daisy is still here, you can just say, I'm here present. Then we'll just give you the watch. Uh, mega love. Shout out. All the daddy. No, no, no. Queen Daisy is not here. Queen Daisy is not here. Family Aspect, I didn't hear what you said. You don't. We all need it to. <laughs> Family Aspect, we're going to play your video for just 20 hours. I'm just making a note of that. Family Aspect, 20 hours, that's like a full day of just listening to the time. Just listening to you, just you know, getting more into our spirit as we hear you. You know, Queen Daisy TV is not here. Queen Daisy TV, Queen Daisy TV. Uh, let me see, Queen Daisy TV. She's not here now. Well, I might just have to give it to her. Such a lovely lady. You need to go to her house. She's got so much to, to bring in. One more last time before I will just spin the wheel of name now. And after that, I will call it a day. Let's see. Carissa's world one, two. Who has won now? Family Aspect, you're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Who has won now? Let's see. Let's see. Fisher King. Fisher King don't need it. No. But Fisher King is not here now. She's not here. Discard Moto. Okay, let me see. Discard Moto, you want to come in? You got this. Let's see. After this thing, who is that? Let's see. Family aspect again. Family aspect. You won again. <laughs> Let me put this card. This card. Uh, motto. Okay, so let's see now. This card motto. Family aspect, you won again. That's so 10, that's 30 so far. So just one more 10 watch hour to be done. And then we'll call it a day. Let's go for the spin again. One more. Special, special. King is not here, so she's won twice. But she's, since she's not here, she's giving it out. Let's hear who came in now. Queen Daisy TV has won another 10 hours. Wow, that's amazing. I'll give it one last thing. Whose name is that now? Let's see. Carissa's World. So Carissa's World has won herself 60 hours. Out of the 100 that we have, so she won 60 hours. Family Aspect has won 30 hours. And Queen Daisy TV has won 30 hours. So, congrats, Queen. Yeah. Family Aspect, thank you so much for being here, guys. This is how we do it. Every time we come in, we're going to play the Wheel of Name. Whoever wins goes home with lots of watch hours. So I'll tell you, invite your friends to come in as we play the Wheel of Name. Now don't forget, this is TV Coach here. If we are not yet friends, please, you know, connect with me. Quickly connect with me. If you are not friends yet, connect with me so that we can be friends. You know, Discard Motors, glad to have you here. Family Aspect, thank you so much for being here as always. I appreciate you, my brother. You know, all day daddy, you are just special. You are super. You know, I'm so glad to have you here. You know, thank you so much for being here. You know, and um, 
Uh, yeah, we should all press in here. Marima Sagario, thank you so much, Marima. I'm glad to have you here. Marima, you know, I'll play you every day, 10 hours every day. So at the end of the week, you have about 70 hours. That's for being my member. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate you, you know. Uh, PZ one dk thank you so much. I know you're no more here now, but because you can hear me. Appreciate you. Able ITV, thank you so much. You know, April Bali one and April May. Peter, thank you so much. Here is Antonio. Thank you so much, Antonio. So glad to have you here. Thank you very, very much, everyone. Now, if you've not subscribed to me, hit the notification button and let us meet again. You know, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you very, very much, family aspect. So glad to have you here. And everyone, I love you. Thank you so much. So, you're welcome to CV Coach, and we are always online every day and every time. Thank you so much, and I hope that you have gotten something from what we did today. Now, I'll be seeing you again next week, 2 p.m., same time. Same guys before i'll leave you just one more thing if you've been leaving comments please don't forget to leave comment below you know with the chat at the end of this screen the chat is gone but if you've been leaving comment please leave comment below so that i can get to connect with you and know that yes you came in and we'll remain friends i want to say thank you so much have a great week god bless you <laughs>